glad to get the opportunity to talk on this uh, uh, very important uh, motion here tonight. And I want to thank the Sinn Féin party for bringing this forward. I commiserate with the people all along the Shannon catchment. And we have seen on the television what they suffer and what they have endured and continue to endure. And we see homes flooded and there's nothing more horrible than a house when it is flooded and when the water comes up the toilet and the sewer comes up and all that and the house is ruined, it's never the same again. It's horrible when you see a slatted tank full of water and uh, cows and, and cattle inside and maybe small cabins inside the uh, 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 paddling around in water. That's terrible, Minister, and it's horrible, and it shouldn't, people shouldn't have to endure that. Uh, I agree that there's enough studies, and, 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 and the time for studying is over, and action needs to be uh, had. And there was never more excavators, there was never more technical equipment for taking levels and all that we didn't, that we didn't have in the past. But it's sad to think, and I have been told, that the River Shannon hadn't been dredged since the English did it back in the 1880s, properly dredged. So there is no excuse for, uh, and there should be no uh, pro prohibition, prohibition in taking silt are blockages out of the river, Minister, because I can give you one example in Kerry for years, for the last, uh, up until uh, 2018 and maybe going back uh, almost 10 years before that, the river flesh was being flooded, 14 holes were being flooded constantly, the in 22 uh, was being flooded and thankfully the Boxer Moon came down and, and stood on Crail Bridge I, I thank him for coming down, uh, and he, he just gave us 160,000 euros to clear the branches that were blocking the river. And we were flooded out within the end of 2015 and early 16. And we've had, and, and, and since the work was done, and it only took three weeks of cutting branches and trees, we, the road hasn't been flooded, the houses haven't been flooded. And it's a, a delight to pass up and down on. And we have had serious floods even last, in, last week again. But it's a small bit of work, and the work can be done, Minister. And surely, surely it is the more important to please and appease the people whose homes are being flooded, whose lands are being flooded, whose businesses are being flooded, than to be worried about environmentalists that don't have to endure it. That's the, that's, the, that's the sad fact of the thing. And Minister, you might be afraid of them, but what, what, about, what about, what would the story be like if these people, that their homes and their businesses and their farms are being flooded, took a court case against, a, a, a court case against us for not doing anything to help them? I think that's what we should be worried about because it's not fair what's happening and, 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 and the people will have to be, the only good living people that do nothing wrong, they have to be listened to. And you know, this talk about holding back water. Sea farms are, 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 do, are trying to do a lot of that around the country. I don't support that. There's a river uh, leaving Castle Island and all that needs to be done, it was, it was clean, cleaned out in the late uh, 50s and early 60s. And the place was fine for years. Now there's a proposal to spend five or six million to build it, to enclose a 12 acre field and build a wall around it and hold back the water. Minister, that's rubbish. And that's a waste of good money. And we have the TIA proposing now to raise the road in Glen Flesk uh, that, that hasn't been flooded uh, uh, since the work was done. I say to you, Minister, all that needs to be done is to maintain and ensure that the river is kept free and let the water flow because if you have a glass of water there and you have fill it with sugar, what's going to happen? The water is going to come out over the top of it and that's what says, and all you need to do is clean out the pinch points, clean out the blockages and, and relieve the people and give the people a chance to carry on because when it wasn't flooding in the past, why should it be flooding now? Uh, 
I I'm very grateful for to get this opportunity, Kahila, and I support the people of the Shannon uh, and the Shannon catchment. They, they they need attention, and we should should and we all support them. But we're depending on you now, Minister, to get working and to get machines out there and get levels taken and ensure that places are, are not going to be, continue to be flooded.